Tiny eight-legged critters may be having sex on your face while you sleep. New research explains, and yes, we have pictures. This in the report at Study Finds. Okay, this one might get a little PG-13 here, folks. Researchers from the University of Reading say these mites are both invisible to the naked eye and are on the skin of all humans. Moreover, they have some bizarre mating habits. Okay, I don't like where this is going. Entwined couples cling to our hair as they do the sex, the bug world's version of swinging from the chandeliers. <laughs> really? <laughs> We're calling it that now? Okay. They are passed on during birth and carried by most every person. Numbers peak in adults as pores grow bigger. Now scientists have exposed the secret lives of these critters from their body features to their evolutionary future and... We'll get to the mating stuff, too. The first ever full DNA analysis shows that they are becoming such simplified organisms that they may soon become one with us. Researchers say there are more than 48,000 species of mites, two of which live on human faces. Researchers can only see them under a microscope looking almost like a tiny spike. You're looking at one right now. A long cone-shaped body is propped up by stubby legs at one end, and humans end up spending more time with the weird creatures than any other animal. They even protect the skin against acne and scarring by keeping pores unplugged. Well, isn't that special? You know, I can do that myself. Thank you very much. I don't need to be a walking mite whorehouse. Well, they hook up with each other, as they say in the vernacular, near the surface of the skin. Fun fact. Genetic reduction has enabled them to survive with the minimum repertoire of proteins, the lowest number scientists have ever seen in mites. Their tiny legs are powered by just three single-cell muscles. The mites lack UV protection and have lost the gene that causes animals to wake up in daylight. Oops. Okay, the mating part. Their unique gene arrangement also results in their strange mating habits. The male has a penis that protrudes upward from the front of their body. They have to position themselves underneath the feet. Are we really describing mites and uh, position themselves underneath the female while enjoying the pleasures of Babylon as they both cling onto a human hair? And yes, these mites have a butt too, so I presume they're pooping on you. <laughs> Here's a picture. Some scientists had assumed the mites do not have an anus and therefore must accumulate all their feces through their lifetimes before releasing it when they die, causing skin inflammation. <laughs> Good Lord, could you imagine if this happened to humans? Yep, he's dead and clean the ceiling, nurse. <laughs> Study authors say this evolutionary process is the first step towards the mites becoming symbiotes very closely associated with a much larger human host. The lack of exposure to potential mates that could add new genes to their offspring may have set the mites on a course for an evolutionary dead end and potential extinction. Well, sorry to say like the dinosaurs that could crush me like a grape, I won't miss them. Bottom line, their job may be to just keep your pores clean. Who knew? You can check out more information on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and heading over to studyfinds.com.